Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video we will learn how you can customize the WooCommerce cart page using the WooPack add-on for Beaver Builder. For this we will require these three plugins, Beaver Builder, WooCommerce and the WooPack add-on for Beaver Builder. Let's see how you can customize your cart page. Go to your WordPress dashboard and then go to pages. Now look for the cart page and then click on the Beaver Builder icon. This will take you to the page editor. This is what your default cart would look like. If you are not able to see your cart then it is possible because there are no items in your cart. So for that just go ahead and add any product to your cart and that must fix the issue. Alright so once you are in the editor, remove the existing cart. Now select the modules group as WooPack modules and drag and drop the cart widget on the page. Now we can start customizing the cart. We will start with the cart table tab. Here you can change the background color, the border style, the width of the border, the border color, as well as the corners and the top and bottom padding of the box. You can even customize the separator of the table heading and can change the width of the image as per your desire. Coming to the cart total tab, here you can change the background of the cart total, border, width and almost every aspect of the box. You can even add padding and spacing to the box if you need. Moving on to the buttons tab, here you can change the background color, background hover color, text color and even the border settings for the standard button as well as the checkout button. Once you are done customizing the buttons, you can move on to the typography tab. Here we have options for default text, table header, standard button, checkout button, etc. You can change the font family, font size, transform the text and change the color of the text. Once you have made all the changes, go ahead and click on the save button. Now we will be customizing the row. Go to row settings and change the content width to fixed, give it a custom value and click on the save button. Now since we have made all the changes, we will publish the page. Click on the done button and click on the publish button to make the page live. This is what your cart page would look like once published. You can try if your cart is working or not by going to the shop page, adding a product to the cart and then clicking on the view cart button. I hope you guys found this video useful and if you have any questions just comment them down below. Do subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click that like button and I will see you guys at the next video.